What's up, guys? Give me just one moment. Hey, what's up to everybody watching? Hang on, y'all. You already know the routine. I don't have to say nothing here. But there is something very serious that, you know, I do want to speak upon. Dude, I didn't even say anything yet, but what's up? So, there is something that I do want to talk about, and as you guys can tell, I don't want to do this song because I did this song earlier, but as you guys can probably tell, it's about the judgment that I've been getting. And not only is this a call out to every record label that's been judging me, this is a call out to every person who has been negatively judging me, every artist, every person out there who has been judging me negatively. Especially all you mainstream record labels out there who have been judging me just because I have no money. This shit needs to fucking stop. Okay? I've been doing music since 2010. Okay? I'll admit, I wasn't that good starting out. But over time, over time I got better. And there's one very common question that has been asked by every single one of these people here watching. And that question is very simple. Why am I not signed to a record label? Well, to answer your guys' questions, it's because artists and record labels like these mainstream record labels constantly judge me. They don't just judge my music. They like my music. But what they judge me on is my physical appearance. They act, you guys act, like I can help how I look. Clothing wise, how I dress, the way I have my hair, that I can't do much about. But my physical appearance, my physical being, I can't fucking change that. It's not my fault that I was born like this, all right? So instead of fucking being judgmental about my physical appearance, why don't you take a listen to my music and judge that? I'm honestly fucking sick of it. You want to know something? Today, I really was seriously, and I've thought about it and thought about it. Like, I thought about it hard. As a matter of fact, Frankie, I ran this by you, man. I ran this by a few people. I ran this by family and friends, too. But I seriously thought about, you know, quitting. I thought about it seriously. I thought about saying, fuck this shit, fuck being judged, just do my gaming videos and get, try to get to a thousand subs and get a legitimate sponsor. Which, by the way, if you guys don't know, you can do that. I did look into it. If you hit a thousand subs and you start hitting up sponsors, you can get sponsorships that will not only send you free stuff but they will pay you to do your gameplay so if you're a youtuber that's trying to get out there start doing it man start getting out there start getting more subs and start looking into those sponsorships once you get a thousand but you know ever since this whole shit with that alexander guy went down you know, I've gotten negative comments. I've gotten good comments. Like, I've gotten so much thrown at me that it's like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And no, this is not aimed at anybody who has been supporting me. This is, or, you know, those 
that truly are sharing my stuff. Because I know a lot of you guys do share my stuff, like Frankie, um, Angel. There's a few of you out there that do share my content, my music. And I thank you guys for that. But this, what I'm about to say is not aimed at you guys. Miranda, all those that do try to share my stuff, all those that I do consider family and friends, do not take offense to what I'm about to say. This to everybody else who claims that they're doing what they say they're doing, but they're really not. And that is you guys fucking sharing my music and putting word out there to the proper connections that I need. Like, you don't understand how hard I fucking work every fucking day on every song. You guys think, oh, I can just up and pop out a song out of nowhere. Sorry, it doesn't work like that. It takes time to write a song. It takes time to build an instrumental. It takes time to record. It takes time for that shit to render down and mix down and master See, I'm not one of those fucking lame-ass, you know, mainstream artists that just puts out a song that sounds like shit. No, I try to put my best work out every time. And for those of you that are judging me on my song called Please Notice Me, saying that I use too much auto-tune, say what you want. I don't give a fuck. But one thing you don't realize is that the way I use the auto-tune it's not like how guys like Lil Wayne or them use it. I don't use it to cover my vocals. I use it to complement my vocals. And personally, I don't give a fuck whether you like how it sounds or not. At the end of the day, for those that do like it, you guys are awesome. And for those of you that don't, y'all can fuck off and go find something else to listen to. Because I do this shit for those that do enjoy my music, not for all you fucking haters. Granted, I appreciate all my haters too, though. Because all those of you that have been hating on me, thank you, you rock as well, because you guys give me free promo. So, hey, thanks for the free promo, dude. But, you know, honestly... All this being judged because I don't have any money. All this being judged just because I don't have, you know, a thousand plus subscribers. So I'm not good enough or I don't have money to invest in myself. So I don't deserve a chance. Where is that fair? Hmm. Think about that shit. There are people out there like me who can't get a job. There are people out there like me who can't work. There are people out there like me every day who deserve a chance at music. But all you motherfucking mainstream labels, all you guys want to fucking do is worry about the goddamn money. All you want is people to fucking pay you to sign them. Sorry, dude. It don't fucking work like that. Y'all need to get your head out of your goddamn asses and realize that there's a lot more talent out there that you guys are missing that don't have money. All these fucking bogus ass artists that you guys got, y'all need to drop them. They ain't doing you any good except building up bullshit and drama. And as for you guys that are out there that are not sharing my stuff, which you guys know who, who you are. I don't need to say any names. Y'all need to fucking stop writing my goddamn shit like that. Like you sit there and say, oh, I'm sharing your stuff. You know, oh, I'm putting it out there on all social media. Well, where the fuck's the tags? Why are you not tagging me in this shit? Because, see, if you are doing it, you guys not tagging me. It leads me to believe that you guys aren't actually doing it and that you're just sitting there talking shit. See, one thing you guys don't realize is that actions, they speak volumes. Actions speak a lot louder than words. And whenever I say I do something or I'm going to do something, I either do do it or I am already doing it.
when I say I'm a music artist, when I put out music and videos every other day or to every, like at least every day to once a week, I do that. When I say that I upload videos to my gaming channel once a week or once a day or twice a day, however many I decide to put up, I do it. When I sit here and I say that I'm busting my ass every damn day, I'm doing it. I'm not like all these other guys who sit there and say, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm on the grind and blah, blah, blah. You want the real fucking hustle and grind? Try doing like I do. Put your show together from the ground up. Take all your shit. Write your own music. Produce your own instrumentals. Do that shit from the ground up. And then come and tell me how it is to hustle. How it is to put in hard work. I do that every day. Every day. Yeah. Hold on one minute, guys. I'll be right back. But for those of you that are watching this, share this around and let people know what's up. I'll be right back. Yo, Gunny, long time no see, man. How you been? But I am back for now, guys, until I have to let the dog back in because the dog is in the bathroom. But like I was saying, man, I'm sick of the judgment. I'm sick of being judged by all you guys who think I don't deserve a shot. I put my heart and soul into everything I do. Everything. And for y'all to tear me down like that, it's a load of shit. I'm sorry I'm not rich. I'm sorry I don't have money. I'm sorry I don't have the fucking looks. But you know what? I've got better music than half your fucking artists out there. You don't blame me? Come try me. I'll show you guys what I've got. But I'm sick of being judged. Based on my physical appearance. Based on the fact that I have no money. Instead of being based on my talent, I'm based on that stupid shit. And it needs to stop. 
I'm sick of it. I really am sick of it. Now, with that being said, here's a big fuck you to every single person who has ever tried to tear me down, every record label who has tried to fucking stomp on me, every artist who has bashed on me, belittled me, every label who has judged me, fucking discriminated me. This is a fuck you. I am sick of your shit. I've had enough. With that being said, guys, I'll be right back. I think the dog might be back. So give me just one moment. So for all those of you watching, share this around right now. What's up, guys? I'm back. Sorry, that I did have to let the dog in. Ignore that, guys. That was one of my friends calling in that they called by accident. But my point is, I'm sick of being judged based on my physical appearance on the looks that I cannot change, and the fact that I don't have any money. I want to invest in myself, but I can't. And to all the fans out there saying that they can't invest, when y'all can, help me out with that. What the fuck are you doing? You sit there and say that, Oh, I'll help you, but then two seconds later, you guys turn around and spend that money that you promised you were going to spend on helping me out. You turn around and blow it on dumb shit. Like fucking booze, weed, cigarettes, shit that you don't fucking need. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against people that do do that. Because, you know, I have family and friends that do the same. So, nothing against that. But, think about this. Would you rather have weed, cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, stuff that will last you maybe a couple weeks? Or would you rather have music that will last forever? Would you rather have so many songs and music that you enjoy that you can listen to for the rest of your life? Or would you rather spend your money on dumb shit like cigarettes, weed, and alcohol when that shit only lasts you about a month or a week? Depending on what you do and what your preference or choice is. Think about that. For all of that money that you're spending on all that shit, you could be helping out with myself or another artist like myself, or another band who needs the help like myself. You, instead of spending it on that, you can change that person's life forever. Hey, Ashley, what's up? But you guys can change someone's life forever. Just by that little help that they give, that you give them. But you want to know something? The one thing that really sickens me, even more than that, the one thing that really just pisses me off, are those that fucking belittle somebody. Like what Andrew Jordan did to me, and like what Alexander Odinson did to me. 
That shit makes me sick. They sat there and told me that I should have died. Told me that I didn't know what I was talking about. Told me that I had no reason or any kind of business being in the music industry. Because I didn't know a damn thing of what I was talking about. Well, let me tell you guys something. I do know what I'm talking about. And I do belong here. Ask anybody here that listens to my music or watches my stuff. They can tell you firsthand that I do belong here. Yeah, I might not be the ideal artist, but you know what? I'm better than half these fucking mainstream videos that talk about guns, drugs, and drive-bys every five seconds. Yo, Brandy, what up, sis? And if you guys don't know who Brandy is, that's Angel, so shout out to you, Angel. But for all you being fucking judgmental pricks, Y'all need to stop. Because see, you guys might think I might not belong here. You guys can do whatever you can to prevent me from being here. I'll give you that. You guys can stop my career. You guys can do what you want and keep me from progressing. But the one thing you will never do is get rid of me. You can, do, you can try all you want to shut me up. But it's not going to work. You can try everything you want to shut me down. But that won't work either. The judgment needs to stop. I'm sick of seeing it. I mean, yeah, I'm already getting judged. Because of the style of song that I released. Or stylistically how I did the song. Please notice me. I'm already getting hate and judgment for that. But yet I have people that love it. But that doesn't bother me so much. What does bother me are music artists and labels thinking I don't belong here. When those of you that are thinking that don't understand what I face. You don't understand what I go through every day just to record. I don't have a professional studio. I have a microphone a set of headphones, and Soundtrap.com and FL Studios. That's all I've got. I don't have nothing else. And I'm sorry that I can't afford all that. I'm sorry I can't afford a professional studio or a professional producer. Believe me, if I could, I would. But I can't. So instead of judging me based on my physical appearance that I cannot change, why not judge me by my music? Take a listen to my music and judge me on that. Hey, Tom, what's up, man? Because, you know, this judgment, it's really sickening. Every day I get told I don't belong. I get belittled every day saying that my physical appearance is not good enough, that I don't belong in the music industry. Every day I get torn down, destroyed, belittled, torn apart by people like Andrew Jordan, like Alexander Odinson, by mainstream record labels like Red Bull Records. Every day, I get picked apart by people like that. And I'm honestly tired of it. And you think it's fake news, Tom, but you're wrong about that. This is not fake news. This is reality. This is what I face every day. See, you can sit there and say that it's fake, Tom. But I guarantee you, this is 100% real. And if you don't believe me, ask anybody here. They know firsthand. They witnessed it firsthand. My friends, my family, 
my fans, everybody watching here has witnessed it firsthand of what I go through. If you don't believe me, ask every single one of them. This is not fake news. This is reality. I don't know where you got the impression that this is fake news, but it's not fake news, man. This is very real. This is the reality that I face every day. Every day I face this. Because you want to know what I did yesterday and all of last night? I sat down and mass emailed several different record companies sending in demos of my stuff that you guys, you know, enjoy that you guys thought was my best song because I did ask several of you what songs do you think are my best ones and the ones that got the most votes for those songs I sent those in as my demo by email or by link to YouTube channel or SoundCloud well every single one of those labels turned me down every single one of them and it wasn't because of the music they loved the music but what they hated was the fact that I didn't have any money that's what they hated but what they don't understand is that I don't have any money I can't afford a professional studio I can't afford the type of stuff that they want me to pay for I'm sorry that I can't work I'm sorry that I can't invest in myself. But maybe if you guys would shut the fuck up for five seconds and open up your damn eyes and realize that there are people out there with very real talent like what I've got, maybe then, just maybe then, you would understand what I'm getting at when I say that everybody here believes I deserve a shot. And I believe that everybody out there like me who is serious deserves a fair chance. But with you guys judging, doing what you're doing, where is that fair? Shout out to Miranda. What's up, sis? Every fucking day. One thing, and I'm not singling you out, Tom, but there are people like you that I have dealt with in the past, so don't take it personal. But what you fail to realize is that when I get up on here and I talk about stuff like this, it's not just fake news. This is my reality and what I face every day. I stay up damn near 24-7 with little to zero sleep, busting my ass. Nice, good game. If you guys have not played the new expansion of Warframe, do it. They just released it not that long ago, so be sure to pick that up. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I have played the new expansion of Warframe, thanks to my sister Crystal. So I have gotten to play the new expansion of it. Freaking love it. But what you fail to realize, Tom, see, you think that this is fake news. And that's fine. You can think that all you want. But for me, this is reality. For me, this is what I face. You can take it how you want it. You can think it's fake or whatever. But at the end of the day, man, this is all real. I have no reason to lie about shit like this. I have no reason to make this shit up. As I said, I might not be the idealistic music artist 
I might be the worst idealistic music artist because I don't have money. I don't have the looks and I can't invest in myself. But let me tell you something. I am the most hardworking and the most honest music artist that you will ever have. I am that artist that will sit down, tear down a song entirely, and rebuild it back up until it is correct. I will record my ass off until my voice swells off and I can't sing anymore. I am that artist that will freaking sing his ass off until my throat swells shut. I don't care if I'm sick as a dog. I am in that fucking studio recording. I am in my home studio mixing, mastering, creating, recording every day, all day, every night. Yes, I might do gameplay videos here and there to keep my channel up and going, but that's just a side thing. That's a hobby of mine. I love creating gameplay videos for people as a hobby. If you guys don't know, um, you guys can look up Retro Gamer. That's me. I have the RG as my logo. Well, it's actually a picture of me right now, but I am planning on switching it to the RG. It's a green. It's gonna be a green RG. Or if you guys do have the link, or you guys see it on Facebook, check it out. But this is what I face every day. As I said, I'm sorry that I'm not the perfect music artist. But you know what? I am the most hardworking. And you guys wonder why I want to give up half the time? It's because of music artists, bands, and labels like these guys. And assholes like Tom. Assholes like Andrew Jordan and Alexander Odinson that make me want to throw in the towel and say, fuck it. Because I'm tired of being belittled. I'm tired of being bashed on. I've gone through it enough. I don't need it anymore. I will, for sure. And thank you, Miranda. I definitely will check it out. Hold on, guys. What's up, guys? I'm back. I do apologize for that. Um, we're actually getting ready for my mom and our roommate to leave for a week, so we're doing a lot of that. So if I do get called away, I do apologize. It's because we're trying to get ready and all that, so I'm going to be here by myself for a week. So, But I also did notice another thing, too, is that a lot of you judge me, not in the, not my fan base or my friends or family, not in the you guys at all. This is aimed at those, as I said, that I've been calling out on their bullshit. You guys sit there and judge me because I live at home with my mom's. Well, you know what? You got to remember this. She was injured in a car accident. So she can't do much. So I have to help her do a lot of things. I mean, yeah, she can get up, move around and stuff, but she has a hard time doing it. She has a hard time reaching stuff on top shelves now because of it. 
she has a harder time doing stuff that she never had trouble doing before. And it was all because of an idiot driver being in a fucking hurry that it caused that. Hey, shout out to Margaret. What's up? But the one thing, the one thing you guys fail to realize is that I'm not just another artist or another person. I'm really not. Doing music is what I love. Performing on stage in front of a crowd, in front of thousands of people, is the one thing that I dream about every day. Every day I fight hard to reach that goal. But with you guys tearing me down, how can I do that? How am I supposed to achieve my goals? And not ripping on America or anything like that, but you know. America is supposed to be the land of opportunity, right? Been that way since day one. But yet, record labels like you guys, like Red Bull Records and many others, take opportunities like that away from people like myself who do deserve it, who work their ass off for it. But yet, people like Little Wayne and all them get a free ride just because you think they sound good. When in reality, I want to there's one or two songs by Little Wayne that are good. If that. There's like maybe one or two songs that I can stand. But you guys turn away too many good artists and bands who are actually very good. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I think I was lying back. Sorry. My mom was actually getting ready to leave, and I had to make sure the door was locked. But, you know, you guys sign. Way too many artists that ain't even that good. When I know a ton of people, <clears throat> pardon me. I know a ton of people that are just as good, if not better, than half the artists that you guys got. And another thing that really pisses me off with you guys is you guys want them to pay you so that they can be signed. So, see, here's the reality of it paying somebody. You know, somebody paying you to sign them is like paying to have a job. You don't pay somebody to have a job. You get hired on to a job. Yes, I understand that it takes time and money and effort to, you know, produce an album and produce an instrumental. And I understand that. Because, you know, I myself am not only a recording artist. But I also am a producer. I've helped produce albums for guys like Young Fox from Freak Show Records and his album, The King of Alt Mixtape. So shout out to Freak Show Records and Young Fox, man. I really enjoyed that. And yes, I am doing clean. For those of you that do keep in the loop, yes, I am doing a collaboration with Elucidus from Freak Show Records here very soon. That is in the works for those of you guys that do keep in the loop about, you know, Freak Show Records and all that. I will be doing a collaboration song or album with Elucidus as soon as I get the chance. So don't worry, Elucidus. If you are watching this, man, I am going to hit you up ASAP about that. So don't worry, man. 
But uh, one thing you guys fail to realize, for all you record labels, you guys got it twisted. See, you guys make people pay you to sign them. You guys want like $400, $500, and that's money that nobody has. Hence, as I said, that's like, see, signing a music artist is like having a job. You know, why would you pay, why would you have somebody pay you to hire them? As I said, I understand that it takes time and money to do all the mechanical stuff because I myself do a lot of that as well. But here's the thing. Like, and this is something you guys, I honestly don't think you would understand but I'm going to try to break it down for you and explain it to you in a way that even dumbasses like you record labels out there can understand instead of making somebody pay you to sign them why not take say 30% of what they make you know take 30% of their payout from sales, from ticket sales, you know, CD sales, distribution, take a little bit out of that each month and then let them keep the rest. That's what I would do if I ran a record label on my own and I was as big as you guys, I'd be like, all right, you know, I'm willing to sign you for free. You come on, we pay you each month, we take say 20 to 10 20 maybe 30 percent of sales and we put that towards distribution towards producing you know towards album art all that stuff that's how you guys should run it see the music business is all kinds of fucked up and i'm just one of many that's here to try to clean it up in the proper way Like, instead of making artists pay to sign, why not sign them for free and take my advice and do, as I said, take a little bit out of their check each month, you know? Make it a fair amount, but also take and, you know, give them the rest. Because, you know, they work hard for that. But another thing that really does piss me off that makes me leery about signing with a mainstream label is how you guys claim all rights to all songs, artists, and lyrics. You guys sit there and you take these artists' lyrics and you claim them as your own. Or you have people write these fucked up bullshit songs that is so stupid and you guys wonder why you guys are failing as a business. It's because you guys ghostwrite you fucking cheat people out of their money and you motherfucking steal their livelihood away from them. There are there are artists who are very, very honest like myself and bands that are very real and very artists like who understand what I'm saying. And if you're wondering what I mean by artists like, we don't stick to just one sound. We do various sounds. Just like Linkin Park did with a lot of their stuff. And for those of you that are wondering, because I know a lot of you have been wondering this, I did get confirmation not that long ago that Mike Shinoda is continuing Linkin Park in honor of Chester. And he did say that he is going to be having some special pins. If you guys don't know, they did some Chester memorial pins. Um, they are going to be doing them in silver and having those put up on the store as soon as possible. So if you guys do want some memorial gear, um, you guys can go to the shop and buy those. Um, I'm not sure how much, but I will get further info on that. But the main thing is, Mike did say that he is going to continue Lincoln Park in honor of Chester because he knows that's what, you know, 
Chester would have wanted. You know, that's what he would have wanted them to do. So I understand where where he's coming from and why he's doing it. Granted, it won't sound the same, but if you're a true Linkin Park fan like I am, you know, it's still Linkin Park all the same, whether it doesn't have Chester or whether they find somebody new or if Mike continues it, the band is still the same. They're still the same guys. So shout out to Mike Shinoda. Shout out to the members of Lincoln Park. And to to Linda and Chester's family. If you guys ever do watch this. You know. May your husband. Your dad. Your brother. Your uncle. May he rest in peace. May my hero. And our hero. Rest in peace. Because you know. Your husband to Linda. He was a very big influence on me. He was honestly the biggest influence of my life musically as well as a person. Like He's my biggest influence musically and inspirationally because a lot of the stuff he went through, I went through. Because you see, I deal with depression and suicidal thoughts every day. And like Chester, I vent through my music that's how I get over all of that is I put songs out about what I'm going through about what I've been through and for all you record labels out there who are probably sitting there laughing keep laughing all you want but you know what at the end of the day you guys know deep down that what I'm saying is true and that what I'm about to say is very real Instead of having chump ass wannabe motherfuckers like Little Wayne or Drake or whoever on your fucking labels having fucking ghost writers instead of writing their own shit, get somebody up on there like me who can walk up to a mic, bust a song, and have it be solid. Or have somebody like me that knows how to write a good fucking song. And do it themselves. So why don't you think about that? Instead of having these ghostwriters write your artist's songs for them, have your artists write their own songs. How do you think bands like Disturbed, Linkin Park, Evanescence, Nine Inch Nails, Theory of a Dead Man, Five Finger Dead Punch, how do you think guys like Three Days Grace, Godsmack, Kiss, Corn, ACDC, how do you think they became huge? They most certainly didn't do it by having other people write their songs. They wrote their own songs. They produced their own music. But yeah, here you guys come fucking everything up. Honestly, it makes me fucking sick. It really does. And for those of you that are watching this, please share this around to every group, every person you know, every family member, every friend. Share this around, guys. Because I really do want this to get out there. I want this to be known all over social media and i do give you guys permission so if facebook does try to stop you guys i do give you permission to download this live stream and upload it to your youtube channel or if you want to you can upload it convert the file into an mp3 and upload it to your soundcloud as a podcast that way people know the truth about what's really going on i want this live stream to get out there I not only want to create opportunities for myself but for others like myself and you guys are probably wondering well you know if I'm getting judged so much then why don't I quit and do something else 
Well, here's a little background history for some of you that might not know. Music wasn't my first choice. Believe it or not, growing up, I played baseball. I played everything from T-ball, Little League, you know, all the way up through high school. And our team got cut short due to funding. But growing up, I have been told that, you know, I should be playing on a team because of how good I actually am. And to this day, I can still throw 60 to 65 miles an hour, maybe even faster. I don't know. But my old coach, who was also one of my teachers going to North High School, Mr. Berger. So shout out to Mr. B. What's up, man? Um, he asked me if I still played baseball. I told him that I couldn't. And he wanted to know, you know, how come? And I had to tell him because I can't afford the camps. You know, the camps are super expensive. Uh, plus, there's no teams around here that are willing to, you know, take me on. So, you know, music was, music's not really the one thing that I really want to do, but it's what I have to do because there are no teams around here. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy creating music, but my one dream that I've always wanted to do that everybody's told me since I was growing up that I needed to do was professional baseball because I've got the arm for it. I've got the swing for it. But another thing that really ticks me off with that is the fact that I'm too old for it. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, because I am 27. I don't know if that's true, but it is what it is. So you see, I do have a baseball that does clock my measured speed. And the last time I checked it, which was like two, three months ago, I think, I know, it was just before winter had hit. Well, I was outside hanging out or whatever. You know, we had family and friends over for some kind of event. I forget what it was. But I have this behind our garage. It's like a big field. It's an open, somewhat of an open field, like a yard. And I would sit there and I would take my pitch back. I would put it up and there's this little thing in this day you can put in the center that catches the ball kind of like a glove well I put that up and I shit you not guys my measured speed was 65 miles an hour as a pitching speed so you see my real dream is to play professional baseball but I can't so I have to do the next best thing, which is putting out music for you guys to enjoy. Now, like I said, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy doing that. I really do. But, you know, I just figured I would put that out there. Um, if you guys do know any teams that are in the Ohio area or in the Akron area or any team in general that is willing to take me on as a player, let them know. You know, and if you guys do want my information, you know, message me and I'll send it to you. And then they can get in contact with me or you can have me contact them. Either way, don't matter. But, you know, that's been my ultimate dream since I was a kid is to play professional baseball. Because I did it my entire life growing up. You know... Like, I grew up doing it. I played it in high school. And believe it or not, if our school funding for the team, because I went to North High School, which not the best school, but it was pretty good teacher-wise. Like, I did like all my teachers. But if the school hadn't cut the funding, our team probably would have went to City. Because we had won... I think it was like 12 games back to back against some of the best in the city until the school board cut the funding. 
We had won 12 consecutive games back to back. One right after the other, we had won. And it wasn't just because of me. It's because we had really good players on the team. Like, we were actually named one of Akron's likely to make it to city baseball teams for the high school level. And, you know, once they cut the funding, I was I was devastated. I was destroyed because I was no longer able to play the one sport that I was best at. So the best thing I can do now is this right here, throwing this fucking plastic ball against the wall, practicing my pitching and catching. And it it sucks. Because, you know, like, I've got the speed, I've got the power, I've got the pitching for it. But I can't do it because of fucking teams not taking people at my age. Which pisses me off royally. So instead of using my true talents with a fucking baseball, oh, I have to fucking settle for the next best thing. And is it fair that I should have to give up all my dreams like that? No. But it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. But the point of this live stream is, guys, that I am sick of the judgment. I am sick of being judged by record labels and other artists. And people like Tom from earlier saying that this shit's fake news. I am sick to death and tired of being judged based on my fucking physical appearance. And even though I'm not a big fan of Machine Gun Kelly after the fight and the dispute that him and my good friend Matt, aka PFV, got into a while back, there is one song that rang true that I stick with. There's one line in one of his songs that I still remember to this day. We can give a fuck about appearance as long as they can hear us. Which means y'all shouldn't care about how we look, as long as we perform and do our jobs as artists and bands and producers and instrumentalists. And it's completely true. Like, I'm sick of the judgment. Every day I bust my goddamn ass. On little to no fucking sleep. Pushing my ass to the limits and beyond. Every goddamn day. And all for what? To be belittled? To be judged? To be torn down? Told that I should have died when I was born? Being told that my shit sucks because I use autotune? Being told that I don't have what it takes in the music in to make it in the music industry? Because of my physical appearance. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. The judgment needs to fucking stop. And now. Because I've about fucking had it. I don't give a fuck whether I got money or not. Y'all need to stop worrying about the goddamn money. And stop worrying about your goddamn people. Stop worrying about the fucking talent that's out there. Start worrying about that. Start worrying about people like me who deserve a chance. How about that? How's that for a fucking challenge for you? And to any label out there that is watching this, I have a motherfucking challenge for you. I want you guys to take any artist of your choosing and have them bring on any artist or band that they feel is good enough completely free. Somebody like myself who is very talented and watch what they do. 
That is my challenge for you guys for 2018. For all you who are in the music industry who own a label. I challenge you to bring somebody like myself, like whether it's myself or somebody that you guys feel is talented, bring them on for free and pay them and do like I said. And take money out of their check every month to pay for, you know, the stuff that needs to be done, like mixing, mastering, you know, the mastering of the album, the mastering and the final setup of the album cover. How about y'all do that? That is my challenge for you guys. Take an artist on, like myself, who doesn't have any money, and help make them into something. Help build them up, not tear them down. Whether they're an artist or a band, don't matter. Bring them on. And let them show you what they can do. Because I guarantee you, you'd be fucking surprised at what a lot of these people like myself can offer you. And what people like myself can bring to the table. And if you all are out there watching this, and you guys are wondering what I can bring to the table, I can not only bring beats to the table, I can not only mix and master and produce. Well, not so much mixing and mastering, but the basics of what I can do. I can produce beats and instrumentals. I can do melodic scream vocals. I can do punk rock style vocals. And I can rap. So I have a lot to offer. And there's a lot of people out there that are like myself who have just as much talent. So instead of bashing on an artist or tearing them down, Help them the fuck out. And it's like I tell all my fans, because I do sometimes do local venues around here when I can, just like little small, you know, setups. And this is something that I tell all my fans. Instead of letting somebody lay down in the fucking mosh pits, if you see somebody down, Pick them the fuck up. And that goes true for any business. Especially the music industry and you guys that are judging like you do. Instead of fucking tearing down an artist and telling them they don't belong because they have no money, pick them up. Help them out. That is my challenge for every single one of you out there who owns a label. Instead of bashing and tearing down and not signing artists who don't have money, bring one of us on and we'll show you what we can do. That is my challenge for you guys for 2018 right there. Bring an artist on who doesn't have any money. Help develop them and let them show you what they can really do. With that being said, guys, this has been your boy Chance, also known as Virus. And to all my infected ones out there, keep spreading the sickness, keep spreading the virus, keep spreading that infection, guys. Stay infected. Stay infected with my music and the words that I say to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream, man. Peace.